Hey guys, it is your wax girl back with another wax girl tries. We are marbling candles. So this tutorial is deceptively easy actually. It does not involve multiple colors of wax. It doesn't even involve you pouring wax if you don't want to. You can use pre-made white taper candles or pillar candles for this project. And if you've ever seen people water marble for their nails, it's the exact same thing, but we are dipping candles that easy. Now, for this project, you can use nail polish, enamel nail polish. However, you can also use enamel paint. It is completely up to you. I did not already own enamel paint, so I went ahead and just used nail polish, but it's essentially the same thing. Um, what I don't mention, you will probably also want to have some nail polish or acetone on hand just to clean up <laughs> afterwards. So here is what you will need. You'll need a container deep enough to dip your candle and some warm water. Make sure again that there's enough water to dip your whole candle. I did not have enough water so I had to dip half at a time. But unfortunately you can kind of tell because there's sort of a line. You'll also need your taper candles or pillar candles. Mine's from Ikea, the Jubla, I don't even know how to pronounce it, brand, <laughs> uh, Jubla or whatever candle. I will link everything I use in the description below. Again, you can use a taper candle. I would suggest white, not yellow, but hey, if you want a yellow background, go for it. You will also need some sort of a stir stick or stick to clean up your water after you're done. I use a knife. You can use a bamboo skewer or something thin if you would like. And last, you'll need some nail polish. Uh, insert angel sound here. <laughs> so I used a brand called Sinful Colors. They are like two bucks at my local drugstore. They're very inexpensive, so I don't feel bad about using them. The red pink color is called Get It On. And I used a teal color and it is called Rise and Shine. These are both supposedly matte colors. I don't know but they work just fine for this project and they're very, very inexpensive. So you are going to drop the nail polish into your water, either by using the brush or you can just kind of dump it in. I did a little bit of both and it will spread. It's really cool to watch. And you just dump in enough till you feel satisfied. I only use two colors. You could just use one color. You could use three colors, whatever. It's up to you, whatever you think looks cool. I did see a really pretty one online with just using a really metallic gold color, very high fashion. Um, if I had more colors to choose from, I don't know. I don't know what I would have done, but these actually did end up kind of kind of pretty. So just let it spread. You can now use a stick to stir it if you want to kind of make more of a pattern. I didn't feel like it. <laughs> because I probably would have screwed it up more than I more than it would if I just left it alone so I did not mess with it myself like I said earlier you want warm water because if you use cool water it will harden too fast and then it won't stick properly to your candle so a little bit of it not hot but just a little bit warm water and then take your candle I suggest holding it by the wick if you have to dip it twice, I would dip the wick part first and then the bottom part because um, it's hard to hold on to the bottom part once it's slick with nail polish. So I should have done it the other way, but you live and you learn. <laughs> if you're just dipping it once, then yes, hold it by the wick. Um, you can, if you, get, if you get nail polish on the wick, it'll be a little bit more tricky to light, but once you've burned off the nail polish, your wick will light no problem. Ta -da. and you will like I said want some nail polish remover to clean up your fingers clean up your bowl um, I here's where I use the knife to kind of get all the extra nail polish off the top if you're doing a couple different candles remove all the nail polish and then drop in some more because you kind of want a fresh pattern it'll look nicer and then paper towels are always handy to clean your knife off and there you have it. Let it dry and then put it in your candle holder and light it or just display it. They're very pretty and functional. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, always comment. Please like and subscribe and 
catch me on my other other places you can find me um they're all in the description 